Good morning. It's Monday and we're doing a weekly vlog. We didn't do one last week, one because I sort of damaged the lens cap on the camera and it was, and it still is, slightly shading the top. So if it's really bad, let me know and I'll use a different camera next week, but it seems to be okay. Um, and I needed a break. It was really hot and I wasn't going to be doing much. Um, excuse me, I've only just got up. Yeah. So this morning I've got to drive into the office to pick up a new laptop because I've had to have something installed on it. They tried to install it on a had it remotely, it didn't work. So they've built me a new laptop, not completely built me, but built me up the stuff I need. I tested it in the office. So I've got to go in. Now I went in last week to pick up something else and fair enough, it's the school holidays, so it would be quiet anyway. But even though it's the school holidays, I would have, on a normal school holidays, the roads would have been so much busier than they were. It was absolutely dead going there. And when I got to the office, we have three very large car parks. And car park one is normally full by around eight, eight o'clock. Um, but I um, pulled into car park one because I know there's nobody in the office. Well, nobody, not many people in the office. And there wasn't even one full row of cars at all. It's really weird and you walk into the building and security are behind the man in the reception desk and they look like so you've got two heads. It's like, what the hell are you doing here? And it's like, Ugh. Anyway, it was fine. I wasn't, I was only there in there two minutes and then I was on my way back. Um, so part of my work day today is going to the office to pick someone up for work. And then I'm, even if it's raining, I'm going to drive down to mum's um, with Jennifer. And... Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, and then go for a walk from with Dad from Mum's because the, I want to go and look at the Welsh Oak, which was uh, was a pub. It was supposed to become housing, and it's there was a fire the week before last. So it wasn't very long ago the fire, um, and somebody posted a video of it on YouTube, and I thought, you know, let's go down and have a quick look, see if they've boarded it up properly now because they hadn't put metal grates on it, so it's possible somebody got in, and, and you know, you just don't know. No one knows what happened. I just want to see what's going on. Something to do, something a bit different. And it's a different walk, so take Jennifer for a little walk. Even if it's raining, put her coat on. It's quite nice at the moment. It's, the temperature's dropped, so it is a lot better. So that's the plan for today. I'm trying to think what else. I don't know, do some filming, do some eBay. Even though I haven't listed any of it on eBay for over a week, I have had an okay weekend. I've sold, I've got four going out today, but there are two items in one package, so five sales. And I had another two sales last night, which will go out either tomorrow or Wednesday. So I'm really pleased. So I'll be starting to redo my eBay tonight. Um, I don't have to photograph anything just yet. I've got some stuff to um, draft and I've got a load, I've got some listings that can go up so I won't photograph tonight, I'll do some more filming tonight for um, some of my um, videos I've got planned and I've rambled enough so I'm going to go and drink my tea before I get ready to go to the office. I'll see you after work. Bye. So I finished work and I'm trying to get Jennifer dressed to go and see Grandad and this is what I have to deal with. She's sitting hiding under the table. Because she doesn't want me to change her nappy. Are you coming, Jen, or am I going without you? No. Granddad's waiting. Me. Come on, then. Come on. Back home from Mum and Dad's. We didn't go for a walk today because him and Jennifer are so busy playing upstairs with all the toys that we just never got out. So we'll try again on Wednesday. Um, I'm going to do a bit of um, eBay now. Exciting play with Jennifer and uh, see where the evening takes us. I've got some videos to um, sort out as well for the channel, so I'm going to do that as well. So I'll crack in with you a bit later. I'm not feeling brilliant. I've got to be honest, not feeling 100%, but I'll, I'll be all right. I'll talk to you later. Well, that's it for today, really. I haven't done much, I'll admit that. Um, I did list some things. I've had another... I had two sales yesterday which I packed up and put in. Had another sale tonight so I'll get up early tomorrow and go and pack that so it can go off tomorrow morning with that lot. Um, just because I just might as well just get it all done out of the way. Um, updated the accounts. Checked my bank account. Got a couple of colouring books. I haven't opened them yet but I'm going to open them in a minute. 
uh, I'm just uh, playing a bit of a game and then I'm going to go upstairs and do some colouring for an hour before bed. So it's Monday, very quiet day. Very weird being taking phone calls again, even though I'm from home, but I don't mind. It actually feels quite good. So I'll see you in the morning. We will be popping out tomorrow. We have to go and sign our wills. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday. I'm about to start work. Just loading up all my stuff. Um, Jennifer's sitting with me. She's going to be doing some colouring while I work, aren't you? And she's just uh, being a good girl, look. There she is. Who is that? Look, it's you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, she's going to colour for a minute while I work. Oops, got to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to go crack on. See you later. Finished work and next to his sister has given us a little trike, sort of tricycle thing, bike for her to sit in and be wheeled around in. So we've been to Granddad's and he's come up with us and he's uh, put her in it and she's uh, going for a little walk. So sweet. So cute, bless her. Dad's not very good at steering that. Put your feet on the pedals, Dan. That's it, good girl, well done. That's What's that? We got that way another time with Daddy. We got on the canal with it. Get me, you get used to. Yeah. Put your feet on. Feet yeah. on. That's what you've got to be worried about with feet. Yeah, that good? You like that? Yeah, but Brenda's got to go and see Nana. But we'll take you out again with it soon, all right? Daddy will come, yeah. Put your feet up. That's the trouble to put your feet down on the floor. Put your feet on the pedals. And tie your arm. Good girl. That's nice. Here she comes again. This is her fourth time down the hill. Yeah, that's better. Feet on the pedals. Good girl. Well done. Your hair. Oh, yeah. You alright? Do you want a nice lolly? We're not going down the park, no. Daddy down the park. Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. You want out? Daddy, get you out. She's got her foot under the pedal. Yay! Don't ask me. Can't turn this down the park. No, we won't take that down the park. You can. could. Okay, it's bedtime now. Um, Jennifer's exhausted. She was just crying in her sleep. Literally crying in, out loud in her sleep. Uh, after we did the thing with the trike, she wanted to go to the park. I was pulled her down the park. And then when they came home, we I was getting ready to tea ready and she was trying to fall asleep terribly. She's ever so exhausted. Um, She's in bed now, I've just come out to do some photographs. Just charging up my phone, because um, the battery's quite low. Before I, I start, I sort out some items to photograph. And she was just crying her heart out. She's just so tired. Poor kid. That's why I'm talking like this, so I don't wake her up. So that's it. It's Tuesday already over. It's Wednesday tomorrow. I've got the um, 
washing machine repairman coming to look at my tumble dryer because it's not drying. I'm running out of clothes. Jennifer's got two sets of pyjamas left. If you can't fix it, tomorrow night I'll be doing two loads of washing and then taking it to my mum's Thursday afternoon. Or I'll put on one load overnight and one in the morning and take it all down to my mum's to get it dry. So I'm going to get some items out to photograph and crack on with that and I'll see you in the morning. I'm shattered too. So it's, it's Wednesday afternoon, I haven't vlogged today, the weather has been atrocious, it's been absolutely hammering it down all day long. We haven't been able to go out even when it stopped because I had to wait for the um, repairman to come and have a look at the tumble dryer which is knackered so he's going to get me another one. He deals with reconditioned ones so it's cheaper to get a recon than it is to buy a, a brand new one or be get that one repaired, so that'll be next week but I'll be taking my washing down to my mum's tomorrow. I'll wash it tonight and tomorrow morning and then I will take it down there. Um, I had something coming from Amazon today. I'm just taking a picture of it because I'm going to put it on um, Facebook. Um, what came in today was the crayons, not the books. The books have been here for a while. So I am capturing it. Uh, well, it is 2020, you see. So uh, when you want to crawl into your blanket fort and to pretend to be a kid again. Because, yeah, I do. So I'm going to go and cook tea now. I'll see you in a bit. So it's Wednesday night, Jennifer's in bed, it's actually very early, it's only just gone eight and I've actually come up to bed and I'm going to watch some YouTube and I'm going to colour and um, I've got a cup of tea and a packet of prawn cocktail crisps because I quite fancy a packet and I'm watching some videos about crayons, I've got my Crayola crayons and I've picked a picture and it's the cover picture from the Space for Kids and do you know what, I'm just going to colour this in with the crayons. One of the reasons I bought the crayons was I thought, oh, do you know what, I can use them for backgrounds because you could. Um, much like the Karen Dash Neo Colour 2s, or the Neo Colours. That's all they are, it's just that they're water soluble, the Neo 2s. Um, and I like them, and I'm just going to try it and see where we get to with it and just have some fun. It's, this is really about just forgetting I'm an adult and just going back to being a kid again for a while. So I will see you tomorrow. We will be going to Mum's tomorrow because my tumble dryer is still not fixed. I've got to get a new one. Um, it's coming, like I said, I think I told you earlier, it's coming next week. Uh, so I have got to do as much washing as I can between now and when I finish work at quarter to one. And then I'll be taking all my washing after lunch down to my mum's and she'll be doing uh, the drying for me, or rather me and dad will do the drying. So all that will happen is she'll I'll do the most important stuff first that's all in at the moment so that's my stuff and some of Jennifer's stuff because she's running out of things like socks and I'm running out of trousers and uh, then we'll do the rest of it and I'll probably have to take another load down before the weekend or on the weekend so I mean, I'll, I might show you this when I um, how much I've done when I've uh, done a bit but uh, I'll see you later morning it's Thursday morning oh I've just put in another load of washing so that uh I've got it to take to mum's. Obviously, Paul had the uh, PlayStation on last night, so he could watch some kind of football by the look of it, because it's on the wrong channel. Um, oops, <laughs> pressing the wrong button. There we go. Um, so yeah, I have two loads to take down. There's another load nearly ready. Oh my god, it's Peppa Pig. I cannot stand Peppa Pig. It is not the start of the show. It is Madame Gazelle's home. Oh, it's just one of those things that grates on my nose, Peppa Pig. But if Jenna was here and she wanted to watch it, I would let her. I've just got that. Just put the washing on. I was waiting for my toast. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. We're going to have some lunch, take the washing down to Mum's, and then it's a nice day at the moment. The sun's out. Hopefully, go for a little walk down the other end, which would be nice. Take Jennifer for a walk to wear out. She has slept, so to be fair, she's been really good. Considering that we didn't get much exercise yesterday. So we've got to try and get some today. So I'm going to have some breakfast and go to work. I'll see you afterwards. Hey everyone, I have finished work now. As you can see, the lens thing is getting in the way. But hey, um, if it's really bad, let me know. And I'll use a different camera while I try and figure out what to do about this one. I'm out to try and get the lens thing out. Finish work, I'm at mum's. Paul, Paul's still working. Dad's taking Jennifer to the park. So I'm just off to find them because my mum worries about them. With Dad being his age, if he's on his own whatever for too long, in case he falls over and hurts himself. So I'm just going to wander off to find them, see what's going on. Yeah, bird poop, wasn't it? Yeah, it's dry. It's very 
really nice today. You can hear the traffic behind me, and there is a bit of cloud and some wind, but it's, it's fairly nice. It's nice to be out here with uh, Madam and him. No, no, no. Where's Daddy? Where's Grandad gone? Yeah. Is he hiding? Yeah. Go find him then. <laughs> Your little legs. Oh, she's so sweet. We love running and playing together. You go there, you go there, you stand. No more, Daddy. <sighs> Where's going there? Go in there. Go in there. Go on then. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, go. Oh, Granddad, go and hide now. Go to sleep, which is good. Okay. You alright? Yeah. Oh. Oh dear. It's hiding again. She's gone behind one tree, he's gone behind another one. Where's he gone, Jen? Try it that way. So cute. Bin, yeah. You don't see me. She loves the park. So sweet. She's such a good girl. I can't sit on it, I'm too big. I can't look, I'm too big. <laughs> That's what's left of the Welsh Show, because you can see some of the boards are down. It looks like they're replacing them today, which is good. Um, the top one on the window is missing, and the top ones there are missing. Um, what? No, 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 because they're working over there, I don't want to disturb them. I'll just film from here. So, good thing is that they are hopefully making it more secure than it was before. Most of the fires seem to have been on the between the first and second floor, so a lot of the ceilings come down, but it's actually still quite structurally sound, so hopefully they'll be able to get it in repair properly. But I will put a video link 
in the description box down below so you can watch the video that was posted last week of uh, the Urban X's in there. So don't try and get in there now because they have, they are re-securing it which is good news. But um, although the building is fairly new, bus come in, there has been a pub on the site for, for years and it was where John Frost and the Chartists met. The, it was their last stop before they marched on Newport and went to the Westgate Hotel, which we'll show you in another video when we finally go back into Newport. But it's good that they're securing it again, so, and it's still there. You remember when we first started coming to the Welsh Oak, they had a parrot in there and flagstones, didn't they? Yeah. And you used to say, Pretty Polly! Uh, I think it used to swear, said, actually. Who said that? <laughs> Who said Pretty Polly? We used to go in there a lot, didn't we? And mm. have a pint and a meal. Yeah, it, was, yeah, it was nice. It's a shame. At the moment, the prince. The prince is only doing Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays because of the eat out, help out thing. So they are doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at the moment, but but that's it. So not at the moment. They used to, and you have to pre-book, but. Uh, Who is there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want to be on there, mate. Off oh, you go. Oh, when I got the bags out, they... <laughs> I say the little ones like that, they don't bother me. It's the, the bigger ones. <laughs> one in, um, when I got to put the shopping in the bag, in mm -hmm. I looked in the bag and it was one about that big inside. <laughs> just shook out on the floor. As long as it's not a, not a poisonous one from abroad, that's all that is. It's one of the garden ones. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big ones like you found on the top, I don't like. The little ones like that, they don't really bother me at all. <laughs> right, should we go back to Nanny's and have a drink? And a biscuit? Got a rest now? Do we have a rest? Or? So yeah, I'll put a video of you the Urbexes oh, yes. um, from Top Abandoned Place in UK. I'll put the link down in the notes below so you can have a look. But there's not really a lot to see because it's been gutted now. Everything's gone. It was very hard to re recognise. Yeah, it used to be a pub where we used to go. You didn't get that one. We're going to go to Nana's now. Come on then. Hey everybody, it's now Thursday night. Everybody's in bed. I've just come up to the spare room to watch a bit of YouTube before I go to sleep. And uh, I might do some car, I might not. I might leave it today. But um, I had my lovely walk. Jennifer's tired. I'm shattered. Um, yeah. Friday tomorrow, last day of the week. Yay! eBay's going okay. I'm in profit for the month. I'm not overdoing it because it's very hard to do with Jennifer in the house. I've got some photos I can upload. And then I'll do some measuring maybe tomorrow. When she's back in nursery in September, I'll really start pushing it because I can book a couple of days off here and there. So I've still got eight days of holiday to book, one every other week, and just do a shared load of photographs, spend like four hours doing photographs. And uh, get everything photographed out the way and uploaded then. And that's it really. So this is what I did yesterday with my Crayolas. With the crayons. So... I might do a bit of that tonight, I might not. I'll see how I feel. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you in the morning. Bye, guys. Good morning, everybody. We made it to Friday. Hooray! Oh, last working day of the week. Relief. Tired. Didn't sleep brilliantly. Slept nice when I was asleep, though. Had some interesting dreams. The battery's going on, but I changed the battery. Yeah, it's Friday, so today is the usual. Quizzes, fish and chips. Um, down to mum's later with a load of washing which is on, it's supposed to shower today but it looks quite nice at the moment. Got one item to pull when I finish, so Paul can take that down tonight when he goes down to get some beers for tonight's quizzing. Um, yeah, I'm going to have my breakfast and crack on with the day. I will see you after work. So I've just got back uh, from mum and dad's and this is a pile of books I got on the bed. Um, these are whips for this month. Um, Excuse me. These top three ones I'll be using uh, in film, in videos. This is for the Castle Arts one. This is for Colour and Chats, nearly finished. Hopefully I might do one before you see this. This one I haven't started yet, but it's for another first impressions. Then the rest of these are actually whips that I either started this month or want to try and finish. The two at the bottom are the least, the ones I'm least worried about because it's Colin Thompson's Busy World, Colour in Heaven and A Christmas Book. So the rest of them I want to try and finish. I've got Ancient Egypt and Ocean by Jade Summer. Kids Colouring Book by Jade Summer. Celtic Colouring Book is just the one that I was using for first impression so I want to try and finish it. 
and I've got one on the go in the Fantasy Cats book. And this one's been hanging around for a couple of years or for a very long time. It's just the front page of Enchanted Forest. So not a lot left to do on that one or this one. Uh, this one's nearly done as well. So I could probably finish those three in one evening. So I might try and do those soon. This one's and this one I've only just started and I've done the background in the kids one and I've done the fish on the cover in the first one. And this one's got a little bit to do but not much. So I'm hoping that I will be able to finish all of those this month. Uh, obviously the ones I do on camera I'm not too worried about. And I've got another pile of books of ones I pulled that I want to colour in this month but I haven't yet. Um, and if I don't get to by the end of it, uh, August they'll just roll into September. So. Jade Summerstein Glass Flowers, Maria Troll Nightfall, Art of Colouring Botanical. This is uh, one I got for fine liners um, and some tips. So some of them are really teeny tiny and some of them are bigger. So say for instance that one would be quite good with something like the Twine Markers which has got a fine tip and a, a brush tip. So there's that one. Can I have a Fairy and Friends special? This one is issue 38 so this was uh, a while back. I haven't done it yet. Uh, the Fashionable 50s, I've picked a page. And Girlfriends by Deborah Muller, because I haven't coloured in that. Ooh. There's a load of tags. I'll put them out of the way. So those are the ones I want to colour in if I get a chance to. But if not, they'll move on to September and I will pick a few others that I haven't coloured in to do that. Obviously, the new colour in heaven one will be here soon. I hope that it's going to come before the day it's due. It's due on second Wednesday the 2nd of September so they've been coming on the Monday so if I'm lucky I might get it on the 31st of August but uh, we'll soon see anyway I'm gonna have a little rest for five minutes before tea Jennifer bed and quiz tonight it's Friday night it's ten past eight nearly quarter past eight which means it's quiz time <laughs> So tonight's quiz is the 70s, 80s, 90s and noughties music quiz. Let's see how bad we're going to do this time. We're just waiting for it to start. We've got six, about seven minutes. And he started. Oh, time for a quick break. He's just checking his screens, I think. And um, this is one of those three rounds with a ten minute break in between, isn't it? Yeah, so it's three rounds. Twenty questions in a round, I think. Yeah, twenty. 15 from the 70s, 15 from the 80s, 15 from the 90s, and 50s from the noughties. Nice break in between, so get another drink, do a bit of colouring, um, have something to eat if I fancy a snack at, and I'll let you know how we're going after the first round. And we're going to be in Team 80s again, because we always pick Team 80s. Round one over. Um, yeah, don't know. Mm, yeah, mm. somewhere all right. We actually got some bonus points in that round for being second fastest on one of the questions. Which is good. Just waiting for the scores. He's just deciding what to play in the break, so we're having a bit of Queen. What else have we got? What's next on the list? That's fifty-three percent. That was. Wow. Fighting for your right to parties next on the list. Noise. I can share the results with you so you can see as well. Um, and Uptown Girl, of course. And just for extra security measure as well. What's next after that one? 20, 28% with Ms. Jackson. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. Here we go. And Waiting yeah. for the scores now. So let's put your, let's do the scores Close that thing. for you now. I'm going to put the scores on the screen. Oh, as you want to see the scores. Here they come, here they come. And scores, here they go. Twenty-four out of thirty-three, I think. Mm. That's not good. No. Let's see if we can do any better in round two. <laughs> Second round is over. We've just voted for the songs we want to hear in the break and we're waiting for the scores. That round was actually better, I think. We actually got two bonuses of being second fastest on that one. And we're just waiting for the scores. I'll show you what has happening. That's the poll for what we're going to be listening to. And what was next on the list? 48. Welcome to the jungle. 
So we want a bit, we want a bit of Shania Twain, but we also want Guns and Roses as well. Yeah, of course, that's normal. Uh, local <laughs> gone. Oops, I did it there again. So let's put local Raycon. They are, um, and we'll put Oops, I did it again on as well. Cool. And I'll make sure. I think we had one track. There we go. Right. So uh, let's do scores for scores, you. Scores, scores, scores. And put the scores on the screen for you now. Bristol twenty fourth. Twenty fourth. But they're good. This, this, these are really hardcore quizzes. They really know their stuff. But we're having a good time. Pop, 262 for Tongue Pops, and then in third on 254 is Weevils. It is still quite close though, but let's have a quick look at what that's done to the groups. Points for team Naughty, Same way as it always is. is. Last round, we did get one fastest uh, question, which was great. So, right in last place tonight, uh, I think they left halfway through as well. It doesn't bode <laughs> That's well. not us then. Anyway, uh, 121 points is Jay Jimmy. Uh, Just waiting for the scores. We're not last. <laughs> then on 132 points, we've got Sam Jack. Ooh. 146, let's get physical. 162 on a bag of tip. 181, slow and confused. 186 points is Shan and Matthew. 188, the Barry Manilow Phantom. I'm the boy is reading them out. All by myself. 216, the All Stars. 220 uh, is Jenny. 223, Quarantine Queens. 240, take on me. 241, Mitch Meister. 250 is Powell Drill. Oh, we beat, beat Mitch Meister. Tonic. 259 Youth. 263 Run Forest Run. I will put these on the screen after as well. Very close by the sound of it then. Oh, the, the older one. ones, the ones of uh, us that lost. Is touch and go. 283 straight up. I've never read them out like this before. 286 mm. Beer Corner. 312 Bucks Quiz, 317 Clan Clark, uh, Clan Carnes, 326 The Coles, 340 Sprax, 351 Fanfare for Common Quizzes, 356 Team Mush, 359 Ben and Rosie, 363 is Quizzy Rascal, top three now. Last three. In third on 374 is Weevils. In second on 385. <laughs> His tongue pops means the nice winners on 406. So we actually came in at 21st. So that's not too bad. We went up in the last round. We're actually going to put some music on because in a minute we, uh, he does a question answer thing. Paul likes that. But we got the new James Dean Bradfield's album. Um, James Dean Bradfield is obviously the lead singer from Manic, so we might be listening to that in a minute. With any luck, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Morning, everybody. It is uh, Saturday. I got up a bit later this morning. Um, Jennifer decided not to sleep last night, so she had me up to about half past one. Half past one, I put her back to bed, and so I, God knows what time. Also, I got to sleep probably two half past two, because I lie there for ages listening for it. I'm shattered. So this morning, uh, Paul, we had a new mattress delivered, which is only going to help. And then um, Paul's just taking her down the park, so I'm going to go upstairs and have a rest. So he's taking Jennifer down the park to play with the ball, even though the grass is wet. I said, don't worry, if she gets wet, I'll just change it. It's fine. It's not a problem. She's got clothes. She's a kid. Let her get wet and dirty. That's the whole point. She wants to go in the bath and get warm and dry when she's home, and I'll look after, you know, I'll sort her out. Um, and then we'll have lunch, he'll have a rest because he got up at five waiting for the mattress because he couldn't figure out to set the alarm on his phone. But uh, yesterday they announced that the Black Widow Monarchs had been released in the UK so I popped over to Amazon, not literally, uh, and put my order in. At first it said it would, they wouldn't be arriving until Monday but then I got a dispatch notice last night and they're arriving today between one and three. So we'll probably let him have a rest until they've after till they've arrived and then we'll we'll go out for a walk all together along the canal or something something nice like that just a bit different and to get some exercise i'll go back to sleep for a little bit if i can um 
so tonight after the quiz I'm hopefully going to be filming a Black Widow's um, Monarch First Impressions tutorial type video, I hope. Uh, depends how tired I am. I've got to film a colour in chat because I haven't done one this week because I've just been... I don't know what it is this week. It's this weather. It's just... Bleh. Sun's out at the moment so I'm hoping they'll have a good half an hour to an hour play so I can have a little sleep. So I put a video up today which was just a flip through because I haven't put anything up the last couple of days. I like to put things up two or three times a week. Every day would be nice but it's just not possible. The schedule's crippling especially when trying to do eBay. On it. As I've said to myself now, I've hit my fees for eBay for August. I've, I'm in profit and I've got stuff to list. I need to do some measuring and I'm not going to worry about it too much this month because next month Jennifer will be back in nursery which means she'll be worn out so she'll sleep go to bed earlier and, and she'll sleep better and then I can get on and just do the stuff I need to do but I will take I've got a ton of annual leave to to use apparently before the end of the year it's, it seems to be going up but I think I, I I've got about eight days and that's not including what I've already got booked up in October and Christmas <laughs> so um I said to Sarah I'll have a look for some dates and I'll send them through to you on Monday if there's one person off it's not gonna be a problem if there's nobody off it won't be a problem at all um just to book off a mon uh, like a morning I think it's every other Thursday in September you know choose up three and after the, the other five I can always carry over to next year if I want to it's not a problem and I will um the first morning just photograph everything all the clothing I've got and then start drafting and the second morning I'll do more photographing of other stuff I'll, I'll use one morning to clear the shed although I might do some of that today if it stays nice we can go out in the garden sit outside and I'll try and do a bit of it out there so I am gonna go cut 40 winks before they get back and I will see you probably when we're on our walk because obviously I'll be opening the monarchs on camera so I won't be opening them until I go upstairs I might try and do that before dinner but I don't know I'll have to see anyway I will see you in a little bit bye guys so yeah it's afternoon now Paul and Jennifer were only out five minutes and it rained as soon as they got to the park so they got wet and come back um she's had sort of some lunch she had a peanut butter sandwich which she hasn't actually eaten very much of and some Jaffa cakes two-year-olds eh um Paul's having a rest because he was up at five this morning and she's sitting coloring um a picture of a cupcake which is fine. I'm watching Andy in the band. You might have heard that in the background. The monarchs have arrived. I am so excited, but I'm not even oh, taking them out of the package yet. It looks fine. I will do that on camera later because I know you guys like that kind of stuff. Now, heads up, my niece Michelle has set up a sort of arts and crafts channel called Fair, Fairly Good Craft. Yeah, fairly good crafts. She's only got like six subscribers, so you know if you're interested, go and have a look. There's a lot of diamond painting on there. She does diamond painting a lot. Um, she's done a couple of diamond paintings and there's some sticker stuff. So why don't you head over and take a look at fairly good crafts for me, and I'll leave a link down below along with the other link I was going to leave you, which was for Top Abandoned Places Welsh Oak. So pop over and have a quick look. She'd really appreciate it if you like what you see. Um, subscribe they're only short videos they're not very long but it's still good to watch it's, it's very relaxing just to watch the diamond painting so um, I am now colouring with Jen she's doing really well there she got chocolatey face from the Jaffa cakes who's that? Is say hello that? Is that? that's you in there <laughs> so yeah so she's just uh, eating some Jaffa cakes as you can tell and I said Paul's upstairs I'm gonna rest because he was up early waiting for the mattress which is very nice don't know if they'll be doing anything else today much we're quizzing tonight because uh, it keeps raining and not raining and stop rain and oh it's just a nightmare but there um yeah so I'm trying to make a video later on um and open up these monarchs I might have to when he comes back down, sneak upstairs just to film the first bit so I can open them and have a quick look and then film the rest later because I really want to see them. I've been waiting so long. I'm sure I can wait another couple of hours. Won't hurt. So we're just going to crack on with that. And I've had another eBay sale. So I'll pack that up later. But yeah, it's not a lot happening today because the weather's on and off terrible. <laughs> Jennifer's in bed and we're all ready to do the quiz. We're just waiting for the quiz host to open up the chat room, the Zoom thingy what's it and we'll get going got myself a beer got a colouring book to colour as well if uh, he takes forever to get going and I'll let you know this is general knowledge so we'll see how it goes I'll, I'll let you know right so we've had the first three rounds we're gonna have a break now so I haven't done scores in between because 
So let's see where we are. Just waiting for him to put the stalls up. And we are in 24th place, so we're sort of up and down. We're not on the board. We're not on the board because it's only the top 22 because that's all that fits. We've got 107 points, the highest we've got 186, but they've got a lot of bonus points. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Could be worse, couldn't it? I am going to go and get another drink and a packet of spicy knickknacks. I'll get the big bag, shall I? Do you want some? Yes. Okay, and have a wee. See you in a bit. And the second, uh, we're going in the second break now, so that's another three rounds. We are now at 31st place. We've been up and down like a bloody tart's knickers, I tell you. <laughs> that is all right round, which was, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Right. Going to go and blow my nose and top up my drink, and I will be back at the end of the quiz to let you know how badly we did. Quiz is over, we're now just waiting for the results. Terrible, terrible. It's going to be awful, I know it. Did get a few right though. So we're just waiting. They do the one, two, three on this first, so just showing everybody. It's so annoying. Uh, it's Sunday, so most people won't. We so we came in 27, which isn't bad because we dropped down to 31 for a while. So that's okay. We can live with that. Next week, there is a indie music quiz on Saturday, which Paul wants to do. So I said I'll sit here and do the buttons for him. It's not my kind of music. It is his very much so, especially if it's 90s. And I'm sure it's going to be a mix of indie throughout the year. Um, so we'll be doing that next week, so look out for that one. Um, Friday at the moment, we don't know if we're doing anything. If we do do a quiz, it will be the general knowledge quiz, but we might not because he might do a Zoom meeting and I'll watch a movie upstairs because we've broken the extension to our Wi-Fi. So we had a Wi-Fi booster, but it got broken today when the mattress was delivered, so we need to order a new one. Um, and I'm running short of money before the end of the month, so I'll have to see how much money I've got in the bank before I order one. That's it, I'm going to go upstairs now and do a bit of filming for the channel. Okay, so everybody's in bed, and I've just watched out on camera the 48 uh, new pencils from Black Widow the Monarchs. They're beautiful. I'm not going to say too much because obviously I'll be putting up the first impressions this one video on Tuesday. Um, it would have been the first part of Castle Arts 120 set I believe. Yeah but no that's going to get it back because they're out already. So this is going up on Tuesday so if you're looking forward to that this is part one of two parts. Um, we will be carrying a, I'll start doing part of a picture in the next one using these um, only, hopefully only. I will have the others up here in case I need any further colours but I got a feeling the picture I've chosen we will just be able to colour using the ones in the 48 set. So I'll show you can do certain things with just that set if you don't want to buy all the others. So, very excited. Can't wait to get that started. I'll probably start that tomorrow night, actually. Um, I've got to film a colour in chat as well, because I haven't done one for a week. Um, and I was going to do it tonight, but to be honest, I've got a stinking headache, and I wanted to get this first impressions video done, because I just wanted to. But look at these colours. Look. All these pinks and things. Other than that one, most of these can be used as... Caucasian skin tones and all these greens and blues it, they're, they're stunning here's the swatch if you can't wait for Tuesday no reds the nearest thing to a red is this one called rusty at the end and it's not as red as it looks on camera but it's a lovely color and I'm gonna call it a night and take some painkillers and try and get some sleep Sunday tomorrow See you then. Bye, guys. Hi, everyone. It's Sunday, and I'm just going to wrap up the vlog for the week. Um, Sunday's been a bit of a nothing, really. We went, we've been shopping, and we're also tired. Just Jennifer woke up in the night, gave her a cuddle, put her back down. Ten minutes later, she started chatting, and she chatted till six in the morning. I was like, for five hours? She must have dozed in between, I'm sure. But So she's hardly slept. I've hardly slept, and I'm just so tired. So I've not really done anything today. We did our shopping, went to my mum's and come home and I've been sleeping. Um, I'm going to do some dinner now and just chill for the rest of the day. So I'm going to wrap this up here. There's nothing else. Nothing's going to happen today. Um, and we'll see what happens next week. If that um, lens cap that's been hanging down a bit, the blade is irritating, uh, there's a bit dark shadow at the top of the screen. If, if, if it's really irritating, let me know. Um, and I won't use this camera for a bit. I'll use something else, but I don't think it's too bad, actually. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.